In this Roblox Studio tutorial, I am continuing with part 3 of, How to build a simulator game on Roblox. My game idea for this Roblox simulator is, Filling Simulator. The player needs to fill up barrels, and collect them. And sell them at the shop. We are going to have a counter GUI, like Tapping Simulator. And use many other elements that Roblox simulators have. Such as, coins or things to collect, randomizing coins or barrels in specific areas. Pets, pet systems and pet inventories, game menus, game passes, stats and data stores, items and inventory. Shops, rebirth systems, teleporting and much more. If that sounds great, please consider subscribing. All of that is coming up in this simulator series. Later in the series, I am even going to go through publishing your game, advertising it, earning Robux, and so on. Let's get into the content for today's video. Today I am going to show you how to randomize 100 parts in a designated area. And create a GUI and counter for the number of barrels. Your game might be coins or whatever, just swap that to suit your game. Since the last video, when we built this map, I have spent a few days working on the game mechanics. To figure out, how I was going to fill the containers up. And, I have come up with this. Which is okay for now. Remember I said when you're doing your game development, you just need to get things working. You can see I have many elements working here such as The container has a fill effect on it, that visually shows the player, that the container is filling up. There is also a billboard GUI that shows the fill percentage. And when the container is filled, I have added an effect that destroys the container. And I added a tween that moves it into the GUI icon on the screen. Also, you can see it is updating the value in leader stats, for the number of barrels. That's all too much for one video. And to be honest some of my code is not optimized yet. So this barrel filling, destroying the barrel and leader stats. I will come back and do a video on that in the future. Today though, like I said I want to get a counter GUI, and show you how I randomly added 100 parts to this area. Okay guys, so let's look at the randomization of the barrels. Okay, so I've got this barrel generation script. So this needs to be in service script service. Uh, I've just called it barrel generation. Uh, you can call that anything you like. So these coordinates here are two parts that I placed on the map. And what that does is, so basically I've got one part in this corner. The other part is way over there in the other corner. So it's going to do a square and it's going to randomly put uh, parts within that square. So you can see I've got a number here, 100. At the moment I'm just generating a part that I've got in server storage. So in server storage I've got a part called barrel one part. So it's just a barrel that I had was just one part within it. Uh, the other barrel that I had in the game was a blue barrel. It had quite a few parts in it at the moment. This script will just generate, randomly generate parts, clones it here, uh, anchors it, random, randomly places it in a position, which is within these two points. And so these two points here, uh, to get these numbers, what I did was on the part, uh, you just, just highlight the part and then the, the position to the 218149. Um, yeah, see that's exactly the position right there, right? So I've just copied copied that whole thing and then just pasted it. Pasted it in there. And then the bottom right corner was the other part. Uh, same thing, just copy, copy the position, uh, 215 minus 215. And that's that number there. So that's how you get those. Uh, and obviously I'll just delete these parts now because I don't need them on my map uh, and that'll still work. And so when I run the game, it's going to generate all the barrels everywhere. You can see the, all the orange barrels. And so what that is, if I grab that part, I'll show you that what it looks like so you can actually see put that in the workspace there it is over there yep so it's just a battle right so the storage so just put it back into server storage and this script again is located within the service script service 
and that's the only ship that does that. So it's only 20, 28 lines. You change that to a thousand, run the game, there should be a thousand parts there. So that will likely be a variable. <laughs> you can see that's uh, quite a lot, and you can see where it's positioned it. So what I probably need to do is see how I don't have any of this area, so draw a couple of different boxes because uh, I didn't want it to spawn in this ramp here so uh, I'll troubleshoot that and work out how I've got to do that later but the count is just counting how many are in the loop so it's a it's a while it's while it's less than a thousand it's going to keep generating so whatever number this is that's how many it's going to generate uh, and that's it for that script so now we're going to go through uh, what I want is a counter uh, like a little uh, a GUI for this so that when I destroy the barrel it's flying up there and then it's going to add barrels like i've got a leaderboard stats and i'm also going to have a barrels there as well uh, and that's it so let's get into that okay so for the gui uh it is a gui so we need to put this in start a gui so i'm just going to click the plus sign there uh, need a screen gui this one i'm going to rename it so i can see which one it is oh. barrel gui Okay, and inside our barrel GUI, we are going to need, <clears throat> I'm just gonna go with an image label. And then I'm gonna need a text label for that. I just wanna change the text, so label to barrel. Barrels, I guess. Uh, let's change the font. Right, probably just drag that like that. Back there a bit. Let's just remove the background on this one. Okay, so for my image label, what we probably do is right click on images over here, add assets. Uh, and this is just an image. I might go with this higher one, it's 1055. This is just a PNG that I created, so we can use an image. So that's added it to our, our assets. Now we can see it here. Okay, so it's just the background transparency. Looks okay. All right, now what I want is the, the barrel inside there. I'm just gonna kind of move that because I wanted it in the same similar spot. So Grab this other screen GUI and drag it inside this one. I'm just going to name it to barrel icon so I can see which is there. Why is it not showing on top? When did I when did I tick that invisible? Uh, we're gonna have to check these scripts later. Well, I'm gonna let me drag it. I've distorted it, so try and hold down shift as I move it so it keeps it as a square. Fix this up again. Control Z to undo. Uh, that's, that's pretty good. Barrels, so. Maybe we'll change that to white. I'm just going to pull that barrel so I can remember what it is. So text color. All right, we need a counter. Right, so that's barrel text is under under the image label. So let's have a counter. Pull it barrel. Barrel counter. Actually, instead of doing that, I'm going to duplicate this one. Barrel counter. Like this. And I want it to be zero. So change the text here to zero. 
and we'll use our script to update this. Now that I'm looking at it, I, I don't actually need the word barrels because I put the barrel icon there. I think it's pretty obvious. So we'll move we'll move that out of the thing altogether. So it's barrels, let's just get rid of that altogether. Get this in the right spot. So we want to probably here we'll align it back to the left. Okay, let's try and get this working so that when our leader stats runs, it's also going to update this GUI. This is the god of coding at Epic Blocks to signing off. See you in the next one.